So uh, let's recap. Dimensional audio reduction. Why are we doing it? Uh, well, we we do it because it reflects our intuition about the data. So our data often comes in a very high dimensional form, and a lot of the time that high dimensional form doesn't really make sense. So think back to uh, digit bitmaps. Right, a random bitmap looks nothing like a digit. So uh, the dimensionality of the data shouldn't be uh, 400. It should be a lot smaller. <clears throat> Uh, it's nice because it allows our it gives more redundancy to our classifiers so they can make better decisions hopefully and you can use it for compression so for something like faces you can come up with a much more compact representation of faces uh, but um, and, and then for images uh, in, in general so uh, st store them more compactly send them faster and so on so uh, so this is why you would do it uh, now why you would not do it uh, for many applications, it's way too expensive. Right? Uh, PCA is approximately cubic, uh, complexity-wise. So if you are working with a big stream of data, so say you want to learn from Twitter, you're not going to be doing anything like PCA. It's, it's, it's hopeless. Um, uh, PC also think back to the example where things that don't look like faces end up looking like faces. PCA projects to a lower dimensional linear structure, and if your data doesn't look like that structure, if you have outliers, if you have interesting special cases, they're going to have completely bogus representation. So uh, PCA is useful for coarse level classification tasks, but if you have a fine-grained task, PCA more often hurts than helps performance. You're better off staying in the original uh, space. <clears throat> okay, so... Boom, 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 boom. I think I said all I wanted. All right, questions? Um, what do you say when you're faced with work that analyzes the brain and tries to match to an existing photos? Yes. Would you use PCA? Would you use PCA? Uh, so the question is, uh, Facebook, does, do they use PCA? I don't know. Uh, nobody really knows what Facebook use. Uh, typically, when... When you're dealing with the data on the web, you don't use techniques like that. One, they are a bit slow. Uh, two, on the web, you have a lot more redundancy, right? So if your goal is to identify a face of Jenny, whoever Jenny is, odds are there's going to be lots of faces of Jenny. So you can use very different representations. Uh, you can, uh, so for example, if you do sift points, uh, they'll be able to identify faces of Jenny a lot, just, just, just by virtue of having lots and lots of data. So uh, this, is really use this is really more useful when, when, when you have limited observations. All right, we're done. So next time we'll talk about uh, hierarchical clustering. <laughs>